Hey guys, it's Derek Jones here, and it's another 3D printing video. And I was going to do a review today of the Monoprice Delta, which I should have done a few weeks ago. But it's been such a great printer, I've been busy printing with it, which has uh, prevented me from making a lot of videos. So I just want to talk about it for a minute and let you guys know. if uh, First of all, if you're interested in this channel and I'm doing a good job, do me a favor and subscribe or hit the like button or make a comment how I can do better. I really do appreciate the feedback and input and uh, it helps me a lot. So without further ado, <clears throat> I bought this outright. I got no incentive from Monoprice. Actually one of my uh, viewers suggested that I pick one up and I thought, well, what the hell? It was only $160 completely assembled. That's pretty hard to argue with. So I didn't expect much when it was, you know, sent out. In fact, I was like, it's probably garbage. I gotta say, I'm overall very, very pleased. So let's talk about a couple of the features that it has that I think are fantastic. Number one, it is an all metal frame. And the only problem I've had is mine didn't have the brackets in it to hold the spool on it that most of them come with. And it's, I'm sure that's a slight oversight. But that's okay. I'm using one of my spools that I printed out anyway, and it seems to work just fine. Number two, it has a heated bed. Now, granted the heated bed it takes forever to reach the temperature, and I never did get quite hot enough for ABS. And that could be because you're basically using, you know, five volts to heat the bed. It just doesn't have the, uh, the power it needs. It also comes with a stick surface. And I haven't had the best of luck with those, so I immediately went to tape. Um, I use tape and glue stick, and I have great production with that. Um, it does use a Bowden-style extruder, which is just fantastic. I uh, haven't had any problems. In fact, the only time I, it's jammed is when I jammed it by being stupid. So the other cool thing that it has that just blows me away is it does auto-leveling. It has a touch sensor. And you're going to see it take off hopefully here in a minute. I'm printing out a statue for another video. It has Wi-Fi. I don't use Wi-Fi. I um, just take from my computer the, the, the micro SD card and stuff it in there, which has worked just fabulously for me. Some people have complained that it doesn't come with a proprietary slicer. I don't agree. This thing worked so good off of Cura that... I couldn't be happier. I mean, I just put the profile in, I tweaked it a little bit, and it has just ran flawlessly for almost two months. I've just been pounding prints through it. Just an amazing printer for the value. And again, I'm not getting anything out of this company. I don't even have a link of where I could get anything out of this unless I was you know, an affiliate on Amazon, which I'm not anymore. But I can tell you, as a 3D printer, if you need a solid rock steady printer, this is one to go to. Now let's talk about a couple of the shortcomings. I've already discussed that the heated bed struggles to reach temperature, and you probably could fix that with a little bit of uh, insulation. I am going to be building an enclosure for this and showing a video on that later and try ABS again. Uh, the other problem is, is it has an incredibly small build volume. It is literally 4 inches by like 4.10 inches, 110 by 100. And it's loud. <laughs> it is really, really loud. It makes a lot of noise when it's printing. Um, so if you had this next to your bedroom or something, this is not the printer to print through the night. So that's something to keep in mind. However, overall, I've just got to say the print quality, the speed at which it prints, it, this, I've done multiple tests against different printers. I don't have a single printer that will keep pace with this. It is fast and it prints fabulously. I'll show you some pictures of some of the prints that I've got. Printed with Tanese PLA, with some extra that I had left over. And at first I was at 195 and I had some uh, adhesion issues. I, I bumped it up to 205 and it printed much, much better. So can't really blame the printer for the filament. All 
I, I've got to love that duty brown. It just prints so well. I was having trouble even with PLA sticking to the build tape, so I put a little blue tape down, and then on top of that I put some just glue stick on it. it seems to be working much better. That came out really good once I went to blue painter's tape and a little bit of glue stick. Printed rather rapidly, I gotta say. Pretty happy. So I will that. say this printer is quite noisy, but I wanted to try something a little bigger. So I'm printing out one of my pillboxes for my gaming terrain. And the Tron XY is over here printing the same part and is much, much slower. All right, so I've got the uh, Monoprice Delta and I'm really, really pleased with it. I started the Tron XY X1 before I started the Delta and the Delta is at a higher resolution and printing way faster on the exact same part. So I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, I did a couple different settings and overall I am just thrilled to death. You know what, for the money, this is a phenomenal printer. So I tried some ABS, and as hot as the build plate will go, it's not sticking. So that looks like a fail with ABS. Even though the build plate is heated, it's limited as hot as it can get. So looks like it's going to be better with PLA. Well, for those of you that want an accurate, reliable printer, this Monoprice Delta absolutely amazed me. I give it a two thumbs up. This does not suck rating. I'm going to end up building an enclosure for this machine and I'll try ABS again. I was able to get it stick but I did not have the performance I would like. That being said, I still think at $160 this is a phenomenal value. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.